Computing is advancing at incredible speeds. The engine propelling this rocket is accelerated computing, and its fuel is AI. Today, we will show you new advances in NVIDIA RTX, NVIDIA AI, and NVIDIA Omniverse. How these platforms propel new breakthroughs in AI, new applications of AI, and the next wave of AI for science and industry. We will announce new chips that power these new applications, and for the first time, cloud services to extend the reach of NVIDIA platforms. I want to thank all the sponsors, partners, researchers, developers, and customers who join us to make this event amazing. Welcome to GTC. I want to show you something amazing. Racer X is a fully interactive simulation built with NVIDIA Omniverse. Racer X is physically simulated. The lighting, reflections, and refractions are ray traced. Nothing is pre-rendered and baked in. The parts and joints of the cars are individually modeled. Their physical properties affect driving dynamics. Things in the environment are not static props, but rigid body, cloth, and fluid simulations. Smoke, fire, and dust are volumetric simulations. Racer X is a simulation. Future games will not have pre-baked worlds. Future games will be simulations. Racer X is running on one single GPU. Let me tell you how we did it. We introduced the programmable shading GPU nearly a quarter of a century ago. GPUs revolutionized 3D graphics and created a medium with an infinite palette for artists. At SIGGRAPH 2018, we launched NVIDIA RTX, a new GPU architecture that extended programmable shaders with two new processors. RT cores accelerate real-time ray tracing. Tensor cores process matrix operations central to deep learning. RTX opened a new frontier for computer scientists, and a flood of new algorithms have appeared. 
a new era of RTX neural rendering has started. Today, we're announcing Ada Lovelace, our third generation RTX. One Ada GPU powers Racer X. This generation is named after mathematician Ada Lovelace, who is often regarded as the world's first computer programmer. NVIDIA engineers worked closely with TSMC to create the 4N process, optimized for GPUs. This process lets us integrate 76 billion transistors and over 18,000 CUDA cores, 70% more than the Ampere generation. Ada evolves all three RTX processors. First, a new streaming multiprocessor with 90 teraflops, over two times the previous generation. Ada's SM includes a major new technology called shader execution reordering, which reschedules work on the fly, giving a two to three times speed up for ray tracing. SCR is as big an innovation as out of order execution was for CPUs. Second, a new RT core with twice the ray triangle intersection throughput and two important new hardware units. A new opacity micromap engine speeds up ray tracing of alpha test geometry by a factor of two times. And a new micro mesh engine, which increases geometric richness without the BVH build and storage cost. And third, a new tensor core with the Hopper FP8 transformer engine and 1.4 petaflops of tensor processing. Raw ray tracing horsepower is not enough to ensure high frame rates. Ray tracing is notoriously hard to paralyze because rays bounce in every direction and intersect surfaces of various types. GPUs are highly parallel and most efficient when processing similar work at the same time. Ray tracing workloads lead to different threads processing different shaders or accessing memory that is hard to coalesce or cache. Shader execution reordering, SER, improves execution efficiency by rescheduling shading workloads on the fly to better utilize the GPU resources. We're seeing up to two to three times increase in ray tracing and 25% in overall game performance. Like accelerated computing, computer graphics is a full stack challenge. Breakthroughs require innovation in architecture and design, as well as algorithms. For example, NVIDIA's RTX GI uses ray tracing to do real-time multi-bounce indirect lighting. RTX DI uses ray tracing to do direct illumination from millions of lights, casting shadows from all lights. RTX DI is used for emissive surfaces, such as billboards, TV screens, neon tubes. NVIDIA Real-Time Denoisers is a spatial temporal denoising technique that takes an incomplete ray-traced image and infers the ground truth, reducing the number of rays needed. And DLSS, Deep Learning Super Resolution, is one of our greatest achievements. Ray tracing requires insane amounts of computation. Each frame of a CGI movie takes hours to render. We want to do this in real time. NVIDIA RTX opened the world to real-time ray tracing. RT cores do BVH traversal and ray triangle intersection testing, which saves the SMs from spending thousands of instructions on each ray. But even with RT cores, frame rates were too low for games. We needed another breakthrough. Enter deep learning. DLSS uses a convolutional autoencoder AI model and takes the low resolution current frame and the high resolution previous frame to predict on a pixel-by-pixel -pixel basis a high-resolution current frame. The AI model is trained to predict an ultra-high-resolution 16K reference image. The difference between the predicted and reference image is used to train the neural network. The process is repeated tens of thousands of times until the network can predict a high-quality image. Ada introduces DLSS 3, a new AI that generates entirely new frames rather than just pixels. 
DLSS3 has four components, a new optical flow accelerator, game engine motion vectors, a convolutional autoencoder AI frame generator, and our reflex super low latency pipeline. DLSS3 processes the new frame and the prior frame to discover how the scene is changing. The optical flow accelerator provides the neural network with the direction and velocity of pixels from frame to frame. Pairs of frames from the game, along with the geometry and pixel motion vectors, are then fed into a neural network that generates the intermediate frames. DLSS3 generates entirely new frames without processing the graphics pipeline boosting game performance by up to four times over brute force rendering. Because the LSS3 generates a new frame without involving the game, it benefits both GPU and CPU limited games. For CPU limited games, like physics heavy or large world games, the LSS3 allows the Ada GPU to render the game at a much higher frame rate then the CPU is able to compute the game. DLSS3 is one of our greatest neural rendering inventions. Here is Cyberpunk 2077, shown in all new max ray tracing mode with SCR and DLSS3. Pushing the state-of-the-art graphics into the future takes an incredible amount of computational horsepower. In a modern game like Cyberpunk, we run over 600 ray tracing calculations for every pixel just to determine the lighting. That's a 16 times increase from the time we first introduced real-time ray tracing four years ago. Yet the number of transistors we have available in a GPU to do these calculations have not increased at that rate. That's the power of RTX we can deliver a 16 times increase in four years with artificial intelligence. Some pixels are calculated, most are predicted. Let's enjoy Microsoft Flight Simulator, a game that is CPU limited because of the realistic physics and the giant worlds. It is one of the longest running franchises. This is Flight Sim's 40th anniversary. With Ada and DLSS3, Flight Simulator is silky smooth. I am thrilled to announce Portal RTX. NVIDIA Lightspeed Studios used Omniverse to remaster one of the most celebrated games in history. Portal was developed by Valve and released in 2007. It was GDC's Game of the Year and exhibited at the Smithsonian. Portal RTX is both nostalgic and futuristic at the same time. Let's take a look. This was a triumph I'm making a note here Huge success We do what we must Because we can For the good of all of us Except the ones who are dead Welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center Cake and grief counseling will be available at the conclusion of the test. The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. What are you doing? Stop it! <laughs> We... 
Portal with RTX is a mod. We did it with Omniverse. Modding is a massive culture. Everyone is a creator. There are millions of modders, and billions of mods are downloaded each year. In fact, nine of the 10 most popular competitive games owe their existence to mods. We created an Omniverse application called RTX Remix for game modding. Start the game, and capture the game into USD, which is loaded into Omniverse. Here, we're using Elder Scrolls Morrowind from Bethesda, one of the top modded games of all time. Once in RTX Remix, the AI-assisted toolset has deep learning models to upres textures and assets, and an AI model to convert materials to have physically accurate properties. The rich Omniverse ecosystem of creative tools can then be used to enhance the game assets. When done, export the RTX mod pack and play the game with the RTX render. RTX Remix is incredible tech and the most advanced game modding tool ever created. Portal RTX and RTX Remix will be available shortly after ADA launch. RTX neural rendering algorithms 